Hello everyone. Welcome you to this video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview question on Python. So here we have a question where we need to find the average of the given numbers in the list. So as you know, list is a data structure in Python. So how to create a list? So let's take a list object. So here I'm creating a list object list, as list one. And using square bracket, I'm going to create a list. So if I pass elements inside this list, uh, inside this square bracket, I'm going to create a list. So if I execute this, a list will be created. So let me call this list one. It will display all the elements present in this list, right? So here the question is how to find the average of these numbers. So as you can see, these are all of integer data type. So let's see how to calculate the average. So in general, how do we calculate average? It's sum of all the elements in the list, right, divided by total number of elements present in the list. So this will give us the average, right? So we need to calculate the sum of all the elements and we need to find what is the total number of elements we have in the list, right? So let's see how to calculate the sum. So to calculate the sum value, we have a function called sum. Let's see how to use this sum function. So let's create an object to hold the sum value. So sum of list. So I'm creating an object here to hold the sum value. Sum value is nothing but you're going to add all these uh, elements. So that value is going to be the sum value. So now to do that, I'm going to call the sum function and pass the list that I have created. So when I pass the list, what happens here? The sum function is going to calculate the total of all these elements, right? So that will be stored in this object. So if I call this object, I will get to know what is the value, uh, the total value. So this is the total value of this list. Now we have calculated the sum. We need to see how many number of elements we have in the list. So here, this is a very small list. You can just count and say that we have four elements. But let's say if you have a huge list where you cannot count it manually. So in that case, what you will do? There is a function called len, which will give you the length of any object that you pass inside this function. So I'm going to use this function to get the number of elements present in this list. So let me create a variable for this. Uh, let's say number of elements is equal to, so now I'm going to call this length function and pass the list inside this function so that this length function is going to count how many elements are present in this list. So that will be, present in this object. So if I simply call this object, I'm going to get the total number of elements present in the list. So as you can see, it has returned the total number of elements present in the list. So we have calculated the sum and we have calculated the number of elements present in the list. So now let's calculate the average. So let me create a variable for that let's say AVR. So average is equal to, so simply call the objects that you have created for sum and for total. So sum of list divided by number of elements. So this will give you the average. So here I'm just going to 
calculate the average by sum of the element, the sum divided by total number of elements. So now if I call this object, this will give us the average. So using sum function and length function, we have calculated the average in a simple way. 